Welcome to the Exodoku training video number 23. In this video we will show you how to work with the Hudoku program. Specifically we will show you how to highlight candidates for finding hidden singles, lock candidates, and X-wings. And we will show you how to set a cell's background color to help with uh, working with naked doubles and naked triples. Consider the following Sudoku. The first thing we do when solving the puzzle is we always look for any naked singles. We find a naked single on row 7, column 1, having only a 6 as a possible candidate. Using the mouse, we right click over the cell, holding the button down until a pop-up menu comes up. We then select the Make 6 menu item from the pop-up menu. After looking for naked singles, the next thing we do is highlight a possible candidate so we can look for hidden singles, lock candidates, and X-wings. We click on the 1 button on Hodoku button bar to highlight all the possible 1 candidates. At this time, for the possible 1 candidates, we do not find any hidden singles, lock candidates, or X-wings. So we move on to the possible 2 candidates. We click on the 2 button. Same thing for the possible two candidates. We do not find any hidden singles, lock candidates, or X-wings. This time we see several hidden singles for the possible three candidate. We see one hidden single on row 4 or block 4. We see one hidden single on row 7, block 9. And we see one hidden single in column 4 or in block 2. We right click over each cell and select Make 3 from the pop-up menu. Next, we click on the 4 button to see all the possible 4 candidates. In column 8, we have locked candidates in block 6, so we exclude a possible 4 candidate from row 1, column 8. We do not find anything else with the possible 4 candidates, so we click on the 5 button to show all the possible 5 candidates. We click on the 6 button to show all the possible 6 candidates. We find a hidden single in block 1. We select the value 6. Next, we click on the 7 button to show the possible 7 candidates. We find a hidden single in block 7. We choose 7 for the value. We find locked candidates in block 2, so we can eliminate a possible 7 candidate in block 8. Next, we click on the 8 button to show the possible 8 candidates. We find a hidden single in block 8. We choose 8 for the value. Next, we click on the 9 button to show the possible 9 candidates. We find a hidden single in block 6. We choose 9 for the value. We find a set of locked candidates in block 8 for the number 9. This eliminates possible 9 candidates in block 5. Before we look for more complex puzzle solving techniques, we will sweep through all the candidates one more time, looking for naked singles, hidden singles, locked candidates, and X-wings. For the one candidates, we find locked candidates in block 2. This eliminates possible one candidates in block 5. For the remaining possible candidates, we do not find any naked singles, hidden singles, locked candidates, or X-wings. At this point, we are going to look for naked doubles, naked triples, and other more advanced techniques. 
First, we look for naked doubles. When looking for naked doubles, it is helpful to click on the XY button to show all the pairs of possible candidates. We cycle through all the rows, columns, and blocks, but we find no naked pairs. We click the XY button a second time to clear off the highlighted cells. Next, we cycle through all the rows, columns, and blocks looking for naked triples. We find a naked triple in block 9. In order to make it easy to see the naked triple, we will highlight the cells in green. To do this, from the View menu, we select Active Cell Menu Item. The cell highlighting color palette will show up to the right of the puzzle. We then click on the green color swatch to select the green color as the color to use for highlighting a cell. We click on the three cells making up the triple in block 9. The three cells making up the triple are now highlighted in green. What this means is the possible candidates 1, 5, and 7 can only occur in the three cells highlighted in green. All other 1, 5, and 7 possible candidates in block 9 can be removed. For more information on what constitutes a triple in a Sudoku puzzle, take a look at DS Sudoku video number 7 on the different types of triples. For the other two remaining cells in block 9, not part of the triple, we remove any 1, 5, and 7 candidates. We click on the R button in the color palette area to reset all the cell background colors. We find another naked triple in block 3. We will highlight the cells in green. This time, we have a naked triple with 1, 4, and 7 as possible candidates. We can remove 1, 4, and 7 possible candidates from all other cells in block 3 that are not part of the cells making up the triple. Next, we click on the XY button to show all the cells having only two possible candidate values. Once again, we will look for naked doubles. We find a naked double with 2 and 6 as possible candidates on row 9, columns 7 and 8. This means we can remove 2 and 6 as possible candidates from all other cells on row 9 except for cells 7 and 8. Now we find another naked double in column 5 with 4 and 5 as possible candidates. This means we can eliminate 4 as a possible candidate from the cell in row 1, column 5. Since this cell has only one remaining value left, a possible 2 candidate, we choose 2 as the value of the cell. We find a naked single in row 1, column 8. We choose 8 as the value of the cell. Another naked single. Another naked single. Another naked single. Again, we look for naked doubles. We find a naked double on row 2. This allows us to choose the value 8 for the cell in row 2, column 1. We find another naked double in block 4 with 1 and 9 as possible candidates. This allows us to eliminate all other 1 and 9 possible candidates from the other cells in block 4.
We find another naked double in block 4 with 2 and 5 as possible candidates. This means we can eliminate the 5 as a possible candidate in cell 6, 3. We choose 8 as the value for this cell. We found a naked triple. We choose green from the color palette so we can show the triple. Since 1, 4, and 7 possible candidates can only occur in the highlighted cells making up the triple, the possible 1 candidate from the cell in row 4, 8 can be removed, which, and there's only one value remaining so we can choose 6 as the value of the cell. We click on the R button to reset the highlighted cells. To get rid of the color palette, we select Reset View from the View menu. Once again, we cycle through each of the candidates, looking for naked singles, hidden singles, blocked candidates, and X-wings. We begin by highlighting the possible one candidates. We find locked candidates on row 7, pointing from block 9. We eliminate 1 as a possible candidate from the cell in row 7, 3. We highlight the possible 4 candidates. We find locked candidates in column 3, pointed from block 7. We can eliminate 4 as a possible candidate from the cell in 1, 3. We highlight the possible 7 candidates. We find locked candidates in column 6, pointed from block 2. We can eliminate a possible 7 candidate in row 8. We highlight the possible 8 candidates. We find 2 hidden singles. We select 8 as the value of the cells where needed. We highlight the possible 9 candidates. We find a hidden single in column 6. We find more hidden singles for the possible 9 candidate. At this point, the puzzle is practically solved. We find a number of naked singles, which we select as the value of each cell until we complete the puzzle. The puzzle is now complete. Please support DX Sudoku so we can continue making DX Sudoku training videos. To make a donation, click on the DX Sudoku channel link below. Then click on the Donate to DX Sudoku button to make a donation with PayPal or credit card. Thank you for your generous donation and support. This completes DX Sudoku training video number 23. Thank you for watching.